good afternoon viewers on the John Mayaki show today. Um, we regret to announce to you that um, the initial topic for discussion today has been um, postponed. We will be getting back to you on that subsequently, hopefully by Wednesday, we'll be discussing that. Today we're going to be discussing um, the life and times of our brother, father, and leader, uh, Captain Hosa Wells Okumbo. We are going to be expecting you to send in your condolences, your, your tributes, and um, your uh, to the family and to the people of Edo State. Captain Hosa Wells Okumbo was born on January 7, 1940, in Benin City, Ore Edo local government area of Edo State, into the family of Robert Amos Okumbo. He was a reverend. He attended Government Primary School in Benin City. In 1971, he enrolled at the Federal Government College, Worry, in Delta State, where he earned his senior secondary certificate. He became a commercial pilot at 21 after graduating from the Nigerian Civil Aviation Training Center, and that was in Zaria, Kaduna State. He obtained an airline transport pilot license in 1983. It's popularly known as Kosa Okumbo. He became a pilot at 21, and when he was 30, he had lodged in 7,500 hours of flying time as a commercial jet plane pilot. Many years later, he ventured into agriculture, where his company, Well Farms Limited, has invested millions of dollars in greenhouse farming and agro-allied businesses, not just in Odo State, but around the world. Among other companies, he was the chairman of Ocean Marine Solutions Limited. And so months after a hard-fought battle with pancreatic cancer at a London hospital, he passed on. He was age 63. His family is proud that the late Captain Hosa Okumbo lived a good life. Not just his family, Edo State. Nigerians are proud. And so um, Nigerians are not going to the family says they are not going to mourn him like hopeless people do. And I agree with them. Hopeless people. If you are a child of God, if you study the Bible very well, you will not mourn him as hopeless people do. And there was a statement signed by Dr. Tinya on behalf of the family, of the Okumba family, where she thanked God for a life of service and dedication to humanity that he lived. According to her, she said, we do not mourn like those who have no hope. And that is quite sharing. He said, we take solace in the fact that he lived a good life and that he has gone to be with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for the life of our brother and father and leader, a mentor, a role model, a patriot. Among those who sent in their condolences are President Muhammad Buhari, among others. The president, while commiserating with the family, friends, and associates of Captain Hosa Okumbo, said he contributed 
immensely. He said Captain contributed immensely to development of Nigerian economy, providing sustenance to many families in the process. That, that, that was a great one. The president described him as a renowned businessman and philanthropist. Wonderful. He also urged those who mourn him, all of us who mourn him, particularly those of us from Edo State, whom he devoted time and resources to sustain his legacies of well-spiritedness and large-heartedness, that we should take after him. His large-heartedness spirit of giving, spirit of forgiveness, spirit of unity and peace. Apart from the president, the governor of the state, the governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, said we just lost a brother. The governor described him as a distinguished Nigerian, an illustrious businessman, an accomplished philanthropist, Captain Hosa Okumbo. The governor said he is a man of unparalleled energy and accomplishment. He saw opportunities in adversity and from an early age in life, Captain Hosa carved a niche for himself to become one of Nigeria's most outstanding businessmen. Wow. According to the governor, Captain Osa beat enterprises that distinguish him in the business world. He said this, among others, embodied the hard work, perseverance, dexterity, and acumen that espouse his Edo heritage. Okumba was a philanthropist who gave lavishly of himself and his resources. Thousands of Edu sons and daughters benefited from his charitable works and benevolence. He will be remembered for his undying love for Edo people, the governor commiserated. He continued, he said, his desire for the development and progress of our destiny Niger Delta region and Nigeria, as well as his invaluable contributions to building bridges of peace across the country, will never be forgotten. It's quite, it's quite touching. However, the former governor, the former governor, Comrade Adam Sushomole, said his death is an irreplaceable loss to humanity. You cannot replace it. He was not just a good friend to him, but a brother and an exceptionally dependable ally in, a, in all his effort for a better Edo state. According to the former governor, Comrade Adam Sushomale, Captain Osa truly loved our dear state and wished only the best for his people. What a great man. He said his generosity and capacity for empathy knows no bounds. He was a man of peace with an unlimited ability to forgive those who hurt him. He was a great source of inspiration for our youth, according to Adam Sushomale. We will all agree that he, 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 this is the best description. The, the president, the governor, the former governor, Adam Sushomale, they all agree in one thing, unity. They all agree that he was a man of peace. They all agree that he's a philanthropist. Name it. He said, with a unique flair for, to understand and intervene on behalf of others. He was sympathetic to all causes. According to the former governor, Comrade Adam Sushomale, he was sympathetic to all causes that sought to foster harmony, development, progress in society. Wonderful. 
he endangered, he engendered an extensive support system that catered for all categories of the needy in all fairs of existence. His humanitarian investments in the health, in the education sector, in the economic and social lives of his people makes him perhaps the most celebrated philanthropist in Edo State until his death, according to the former governor. He made himself, Captain Osa made himself available to solve the problem of everyone and at all times. The former, the former governor said, even with his personal health challenges, he never ceased to respond to the cries of the needy. His demise is an irreplaceable loss to humanity, according to Comrade Adams Ali Oshomale. And so for the, for the Deputy Governor of Edo State, Comrade Philip Shaibu, it was a sad and devastating news he received with great shock. He said, Captain is a renowned business guru who has made remarkable impacts that have earned him recognition across the world. Philip Shaibu said, the Deputy Governor said, as our elder statesman, his wealth of experience and developmental partnership would have been handy in stabilizing the, the industrial need of Edo State. It's even more needed now. The Deputy Governor said he was an exceptional Benin man with high sense of nobility who used his God's giving talents and resources for the betterment of humanity. He said Captain Osa Okumbo was a true son of the soil who stood for what he believes in and left no stone unturned in his determination to make life alluring for his people. Wonderful words. The former Deputy Governor of Edo State, former Deputy Governor of Edo State, Reverend Peter Obadan, said, Darkness has fallen upon Benicity. Oh my God. The pride of the city has departed like it was the time of Bishop Professor Idaosa, who called home at the age of 59. He said he's gravely pained. The former deputy governor, Reverend Peter Abada, said he's gravely pained that the worthy man of the city, my neighbor, has departed. He said sorrow has engulfed our hearts. The mighty has fallen. He said, when in the last Christmas, according to Reverend Peter Obadan, he said, when in the last Christmas season, his usual celebration did not blossom. His neighbors on Aguabo Semis became troubled with a foreknowledge that Captain was ill. We ceaselessly prayed for his death to be averted. God, the owner of breath, decided otherwise. An amiable gentleman has fallen. Calamity has befallen the people of Edo State. The friend of the poor and needy has departed. We will greatly miss him in Aguabasimi. I have in the quietness of my mind, according to the former Deputy Governor, Reverend Peter Bada, realized again that all the labor of man is vanity. If death had a prize, Osa would have raised the funds. We shall all face death. If only in this world we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Do the good that you can on earth. Reverend Peter Obada said, For Captain, the journey has started. Let us reciprocate the love he shared to humanity, to his wife, his children, mother, and siblings. 
among those in the roll call who sent in their condolences are from uh, uh, Prince Clem Abba, the Minister for the Minister of State for Budget and National Planning. According to him, it was the exit of a colossus. His death has created a huge vacuum that will be difficult to fill, the minister said. Captain Osa made a huge difference in the lives of countless people by his philanthropy. Despite his wealth, according to the minister, his humility, his selflessness, strength of spirit, deep sense of purpose made him a national icon. A revered symbol of humanity and a source of inspiration to people. Prince Clem Agba said with his death, people Edo people particularly, Nigerians, the world, have lost one of their greatest sons. Our people have lost a colossus and a philanthropist par excellence. The minister said a guiding light has been extinguished. A philanthropic colossus no longer bestrides our world. But his legacy will live forever. The minister said we have lost a colossus. Pastor Osage Ezeyamu said he was one of a kind. He set in his condolence to the family. He said, I thank God he lived an exemplary life of service. He was a leader and role model who through his compassion and generosity demonstrated the true essence of success. According to Pastor Sage Ziyamu, he earned the respect and affection of many in the country and beyond with his remarkable personal accomplishments. He was one of the true icons to have walked our ground, Pastor Osage Zayamu said. He had a special knack with the visionary, he has a special knack, according to Pastor Osage Zayamu, and the visionary brilliance to recognize opportunities long before others could see them. He has the discipline and talent to build efficient systems and organizations out of bold ideas. Wow. He said Captain Osa was a man of many dreams and ambitions. He was able to defeat the limitations of the circumstances surrounding his birth and claimed a prominent spot in our national memory. He said Captain Osa was a solution provider, an international businessman of repute who was proud of his culture, a detribalized Nigerian who showed the world the true spirit and potential of Edo people. According to Pastor Sage Zayamu, Captain Osa's personal warmth and philanthropy endeared him to many, all of whom now bear witness to his unfettered kindness. To everyone who needed help and support, he was ready to offer his ears. He was ready to offer his network. He was ready to offer his economic strength. He said this philanthropic nature of his was born out of his unwavering love for God. He fought a good fight. Captain Osa fought a good fight. Pastor Sage Zayamu said, he said he finished his cause. 
he kept the faith. Hence, there is laid for him a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give him at that day, and not to him only, but unto all of them that love is appearing. Personally, according to Pastor Sagezeyamu, personally, Capitano, as I respectfully call him, was not just a beloved elder, brother and friend. He was also a God-sent helper who supported me tremendously in every endeavor of life. He has assisted me to build churches and was always willing to give to the work of God. Indeed, a million parts do not come close to account for the beauty he brought to this life. According to Pastor Sage Zeyamu, if it were possible, the pastor said, I will give everything to have him back. One more moment, for one more memory, as there was no time to say goodbye. But, but... I am consoled because heaven is one star brighter. This is because Captain has not died. He has only transited to be with his maker, having fulfilled all his purpose. We will celebrate his life according to Pastor Sage Zeyamo, which is also in tandem with the family. We will celebrate his life. We will celebrate him. And the measure of his wealth who will remember him in every tomorrow, who will remember the joy he gave, the laughter he shared, and the smile he wore. We will honor his legacy. The pastor said, I am grateful to his family for sharing Captain with us and send my most heartfelt condolences to them at this very difficult hour. I pray that the Almighty God will grant them and all those who knew Captain his friends to bear this separation and may he in his infinite mercies grant Captain Osa Wells of Kubo eternal rest. Frankly, Pastor Isayamu said, frankly, I thank my God every time I remember him. Frankly, I thank my God every time I remember him. Isaiah is not um, the only one, apart from the president, the governor, the former governor, Comrade Adam Sushumole, the former deputy governor, the present deputy governor. Uh, among other, Professor Julius Iomveri is also part of those who sent his condolence. Member representing our federal constituency and chairman House Committee on Basic Education and Services. According to him, Professor Julius Iomveri, God has called a truly good and great man. For him, there are great men. There are truly good and great men. He said he received with shock the passing of a, true, a truly wonderful friend and brother, Captain Wells Hosa Okumbo. Professor Yuveri said humanity has lost a patriot. Humanity has lost a philanthropist. Humanity has lost a businessman, a man with a societal conscience. He truly believed in a genuinely democratic and progressive Edo state, Nigeria and Africa. While we mourn his loss, we took solace in the fact that he lived a great life and left legacies that will stand his descent a test of time. We miss him a lot. On behalf of his family, according to Professor Julius Yonveri, 
and the good people of our federal constituencies, I commiserate with members of his family, associates, and the great Oba of Benin for this huge loss. The, the, the list is endless. And so for, uh, and so for right Honorable Samson Osage, Captain was a unique man. Captain Hosa Okumbo bestrode this narrow, this narrow, difficult and tentatious business environment with uncommon zeal, determination, creativity and tenacity, according to Samson Osage. Remarkably, the lawmaker said, his success endeared him to his roots, lifting thousands out of difficulties and challenges through his exceptionally unequal generosity and philanthropy. He was a lover of his culture and tradition and stoutly invested in promoting sin with humility and submissiveness to the, to the will of God and to the Beni traditional institution. He sung at one of the traditional events held in the palace of the Oba of Benin, explained in a most profound way his commitment to the advancement of the kingdom of Benin and indeed at those states. According to Honorable Samson Osage, he sang glowingly. Captain Osa sang glowingly to be counted among those who joined the Oba to develop Edo State. He was indeed a partner with His Royal Majesty in the development of Benin and Edo State in particular. Although not a partisan politician in the real sense, but he was a politician's friend who supported many to pursue their political ambitions within and outside Edo State. In many ways, Captain Osa meant a great deal of support to humanity, and he exhibited a rare disposition of a helper to many a people at different times. Perhaps Captain Osa was responding in his unparalleled act of compassion and generosity to John Holmes, who, who said, there is no excuse, there is no exercise better for the heart than reaching down and lifting people up. He indeed lifted many out of want, squalor, and poverty. He touched lives. He beat bridges of friendship. He reached out to the downtrodden. He reached out to the communities. Samson Osage said for Captain Hosa Okumbo, it's farewell from this physical presence on earth, but certainly not farewell to his enduring legacies and uncommon act of humility, compassion, love, humanity, and generosity. For member representing Akoko Edo South constituency, Honorable Emmanuel Agbaje, he was a humane and humble personality, not minding his status. You were dear for everyone, according to Emmanuel Agbaje. You were dear for everyone that came your way. You have done your bit to the benefit and admiration of mankind. And most importantly, to the glory of God Almighty. My deep condolences to the entire Edo people. According to Festus Ebia, former member of Edo State House of Assembly, a great man par excellence, in his description of Captain Osa Okombo, he says he, he was a great man par excellence. Rest in peace, the good man whose life touched all those 
who passed through him. This is too hard for me to believe. Capitano cannot just go like that. I am short of words. God turned. Thomas O'Coston said, it's too hard for him to believe. It's too hard for me to believe. He said, this is too hard for me to believe. Thomas O'Coston, former speaker, House of Assembly, Edo State. He said, this is too hard for me to believe. Capitano cannot just go like that. I am short of words. God turned this rumor to fake news. It's still hard to believe. It's still hard to believe. He said, rest in peace, my leader and big brother, Captain Osa Okumbo. A good man is gone, according to Omar Edo Osifo. A good man is gone. Honorable Omar Edo Osifo, he said, she said, my heart is broken to shreds. She said, why him? God knows why. Honorable Omar Edo Osifo. According to Gideon Obakan, former commissioner in those days, he said the death of Captain Hosa is a great loss to humanity. The death of Captain Hosa, according to Gideon Obaka, is a great loss to humanity. May his soul rest in peace. I have lost a, I've lost a lot of wonderful and memorable moments with you that I will always cherish, Captain, may the light and love of God, according to Peter Isele, may the light and love of God, Peter Isele said, accompany you back home. According to Peter Isele, may the blessings be with you. It's quite shocking. Another Sipatera said, really shocking to hear this sad loss. May God grant him eternal rest. Gloria Adagbo. Gloria Adagbo said, may God grant him eternal rest. Comfort his immediate family. The lines are open. For those who want to send in their condolences, their tributes, please feel free. The lines are open. Call in and let's have your condolence message and tribute to Captain Osa Okumbo. The lines are open. We'll see some of those life experiences of Captain Osa in the video where he was dancing at the palace of the Oba of Benin. We'll pick this call while we... Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. This is a Yato Joe. A, oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. My heart is broken sincerely. I've not gotten myself over the death of Katinosa Okubo. Sometime this year, uh, this time last year, we were all together when we were doing a campaign for governorship uh, in support of uh, Pastor Sergei Zayamu. His kind words, his admonition, his uh, caring uh, attitude, his compassionate heart, the way he used to put uh, together to himself, he does not discriminate. I'm short of words. I, I can't believe it. Kapi is dead mm. by now. Mm. So my condolence goes to the family, the immediate family, the children, the wife, and everybody. I just it lost a huge, a great asset, mm. which cannot be replaced mm. in any time. Adieu.
Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We well, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so very much for that, um, Mr. Joe. We well, appreciate it. The lines are open. Today is day for eulogy. Tribute for our people. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Ogolo uh, your name is what? Ogolosiri. Okay, calling from where? I'm calling from GRO. <coughs> oh, please go ahead with your contribution and condolence. Yes, so we cannot continue to say the link that our heart is broken mm -hmm. for the untimely death of our own father, the uncle, the brother. And patriots, mm. our dearly beloved captain, we did we live an exemplary life mm. for every good lovers of Nigeria as well. We live. Though I have not the privilege to meet him mm. while he was alive, but I want to recount some of the experience I had while following him. In one of his days, when he came to greet the then Osawa the Legion in the great Palencia Garden Room, he was very proud of him. So when he came in a very humble way, he to pay his homage. And uh, in return, I saw the man praying fervently for him. Hmm. That was when I knew the kind of uh, person he was. Hmm. And I was praying fervently for him. The man recalls how few of them came to work with him. And there is no surprise. And or how far he has sojourned so high in life. Mm. And then he admonished him. What did he tell him that day? He said, Whatever you know that is good, that you could be, you are convinced about that is good, continue to do it and never relent. Mm. That the God who has brought you this far have a better purpose for you. And he will be there to guide you to the end. After he has said that prayer, I have to go back to my trenches, study reading and doing more findings about Kaku. Mm. If I get to know more about him. As in that day, I became an ardent follower of Kaku. Mm. So when he in his last day, he came to publicly giving us reason to support pastor's aspiration. He took me back to that time when our dear father was praying for him as the Yetama of the name. And I said, yes. Not just now, but because we were and we are, according to you, in your final uh, line in your the, the message you convey trying to sympathize with his family that Ubuntu because we were and we are. Mm. And because we were, I am happy that I am one of those people who have no captive. And because we are, I am happy to be part of those people who are singing images of captive even now that you are going to be with the father. But I pray that those legacy you have created over time, God is able to bestow on somebody in his household to sustain them both now and beyond. Mm. From God we came, and to God we shall return someday. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, so you sir. Much. I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Mr. 
the lines are still open. It is a day of eulogies, tributes for our brother, Patriot role model, Captain Osa Okumbo. Feel free to call in. We're going to be here for as long as possible so that we can all pay our possibly our last respect to him. We're going to be having some of his past moments at the palace of the Oba of Benin, where he danced to the admiration of the people, promising that he be counted among them. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Jenny Dao. Oh, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, Captain Rosa was a great song of the Blue Kingdom. In fact, the song is sung at the palace. Where it's sung, uh, permit me to sing that song, please. Kameyo, Baba Kameyo. Kameyo, Baba Kameyo. In fact, he helped in the development of the new kingdom. I am still crying because he was a great man, a great philanthropist. May he so rest in peace. Amen. Amen. In fact, we have lost a great son in the whole kingdom. And I pray God and talk with family. And all of us will love him dearly. Please, so rest in peace. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much, guys. If you are there, uh, look, look at that. Look, look at that. Come in, yo, Baba. Come in, yo. Come in, yo, Baba. Come in, yo. Usu no go ba dole do yi. Come in, yo. Usu no go ba dole do yi. Come in, yo. Baba. Come in, yo. Come in, yo, Baba. Come in, yo. Usu no go ba dole do yi. Come in, yo. Come in, yo, Baba. Come in, yo. Come in, yo, Baba. Come in, yo. Usu no go ba dole do yi. Come in, yo. Usu no go ba dole do yi. Come in, yo. Come in, yo, Baba. Wow. Count me among those. When you need it was like in the Bible. Say, say count me among those. Count me. Will you be counted among those that will develop your land? Are you ready to be counted among those that will do the work of God? Ready for charity? He's, 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 he's making a promise here. He's dedicating himself. He is he's committing himself to say, count me. If you are counting those to develop a do state, if you are counting those to, 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 to stop under development, if you are counting those to employ people, if you are counting those to help the needy, the poor on the street, if you, are, if you are counting those that will bring peace to the land, if you are counting those that will bring unity and bound, bound the uh, those people together, count me among. If you are counting those that, 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 that will promote the Bini traditional culture in and outside the country, count me, count me. Say, count me among those. How many of us? How many of us? That is selfless service. He was completely ready 
He dedicated publicly, publicly. Say, count me among those. There, there was another video where we saw him also promoting the culture of his people. <laughs> We'll take this call. I'll take this call. We'll listen to that. Hello? 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 Yeah, good afternoon. Am I on to the Miami show? Yes. Okay. Hello? Yeah, your phone is too close to your to where you are watching from. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. My name is Sunny uh, Moedume. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. My name is Sunny Moedume. Good afternoon, sir. Go on with your contribution. Okay. I want to energize uh, Captain uh, Osa Kubo. You see, Captain Osa Okubo lived the worthy life worthy of nation. He has touched the lives of so many and he parted in his of the uh, less privilege that they are trading in the society. This is a man in all his human endeavor that he has been able to impact on the lives of the less privileged that to do. And even when you are well today, you have taught a lesson that everybody, as far as life is concerned. So when I heard about his death, it was so shocking, it was so sad. The death is there to death. And death has taught me very good lessons. But why do you bother about life? Then you can only live life and life. Mm. It has taught so many in this society that there is no love is so dearly. The God loves, loves him most. All we need to do is to take solace in God mm. and continue to pray for his weapons and continue to pray for his family, mm. for God to give them the fortitude to hear the irreparable loss. I will say I do, Capone. Hmm. I do a good patriot. I do a traditional man to the core. Hmm. I do to an employer of labor. Hmm. I do to a man who got a fault to deliver his people. Hmm. He has been able to fulfill his journey on earth. Hmm. So we should celebrate God that He has made me for free life. Bye. Thank you. So we need to talk no more. Wonderful. Thank you so Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God. Quite. Let's listen to that um, rendition at the palace. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Watch him now. That was Captain Osa Okumba at the Palace of the Urban Benin. He was truly a son of the soil. Not, not those guys who make money and run away. They don't come back home. Sometimes they are lost in Europe. If they are not lost in US, they are lost in UK or they are lost in Europe. Sometimes they are in Abuja, they, they refuse to go home. Sometimes you just hear somebody is from Edo State over there. They, they, nobody knows them. They are not. No. This man, despite his status, very close to the grassroots, very close to the downtrodden. Look at him mixing freely with the people. Look at him. No, there is no fear of um, bad people in the village. No. Look at look at Captain Osa. How else do you live? How else can you live in this, this hopeless world than to help the people, than to, than to give and be generous and be, and be free with the people? And 
and leave the rest to God. Captain is just a great man. The lines are free. The lines is over there. The two lines are there for you to call in and um, make your contribution, send your condolences, send your tribute. And um, it's a day for eulogy. The president has done his own. The president, Muhammad Buhari, has done, sent condolences. The governor of the state has sent his condolences. The deputy governor has also sent his condolences. The former governor of the state, Comrade Adam Soshimuli has also sent his condolences. The Minister for Budget and Planning has sent his own, Prince Clemagwa. The former Deputy Governor of Edo State, Reverend Peter Obadan, has also sent his own. Professor Julius Iyonveri is not missing. He has sent his condolences. We have Pastor Sage Zeyamu who has also sent in his condolences. The lines are free to call. Feel free to call. Right Honorable Samson Osage has sent his condolences. Emmanuel Agbaje, who represents Akoko Edo South Constituency, has sent his condolences. Uh, Festus Ebia, Honorable Festus Ebia, Ebia has also sent his condolences. Former Speaker, Right Honorable Thomas Okosung, has sent his condolences. Honorable Omorodo Sifo has sent her condolences. Honorable Gideon Obaka has also sent words of encouragement to the family, just as Peter Isele has also done the same. Several other persons have called and the the old agree on the point that Captain Osa was a great man, a philanthropist, a unifier, an easygoing man, a peaceful man, somebody who unites the state and the country. You, you see that video where at the palace of the Oba of Benin. Say, count me among the people. Count me among the people. He was not hiding the corner to say. He was not, no, he, he publicly, count me. I'm ready to develop a new state. I'm ready. Our traditional ruler, our father, please count me. Number one, please put my name. I'm ready. I'm ready. Listen to him. Kave yo baba, kave yo, kave yo baba, kave yo. Usuno guaba dole do yi, kave yo. Usuno guaba dole do yi, kave yo. Kave yo baba, kave yo. Come in ya, Baba, come in ya. Usuno guaba dole do yi, come in ya. Come in ya, Baba, come in ya. Come in ya, Baba, come in ya. Usuno guaba dole do yi, come in ya. Usuno guaba dole do yi, come in the lines are there the lines are there feel free to call in on the john mayaki show today we are dedicating today for our brother our patriot our role model captain osa okumbo there's nothing we have nothing to give to him we whatever we can do to thank him for all he has done for us we will do it uh, feel free to call 
and um, I send your condolences and um, I pray for his family. The lines are there, feel free to call. sent her words to say Captain Osa was an epitome of Christ. He lived a Christ-like life. I hope that as we all pay this tribute, we remember to live our life touching people's lives like Capit Capitano. He was a worthy role model. My condolence to his wife and family. We all miss Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> We have received messages. Um, Victoria Amu has sent her words. Um, we have a lot of messages here. We cannot read everything. We will be... We will be drawing the curtain here for to this edition of the John Mayaki show. We'll keep remembering him in our prayers. We'll keep remembering, remembering the family in our prayer until we come your way again. Remember that life is a gift and every day you live to witness it's an opportunity to do something great and also change your destiny. Take charge and take care. Thank you and bye for now.